Back in 2010, a small YouTube channel became quite popular, with many thousands of views and people giving her quite a lot of money. This YouTuber was called Colleen Thomas, also known at certain points as Wild Colleen Thomas and by several of her names. She was a nurse, in fact an administrational nurse, and she was begging for money because she was claiming the end was nigh. Her New Age narrative and claims of communication with higher powers later mutated into the idea that she was the Mother Goddess herself, and her twin flame was the Archangel Michael. It was essentially a parody, but without telling people, very much like you end up with magicians telling you it's a trick, it's a magic trick, but then some will simply do it and say, no, it's real psychic power. There's a big difference. This person, back in the autumn of 2010, basically claimed that the alien invasion was coming in November. The day came, I believe it was November the 5th, and then it passed. Nothing changed. You may have noticed that nothing changed. Perhaps the aliens had cloaking devices. And perhaps they have very, very quiet ships. And they look just like us. And conveniently, according to her, yes they do. Well, they're meant to look like us anyway. Later on, she did a few ultimatum videos to Mr. Obama in various serious tones, claiming that they were going to arrest Obama, Bush, and a variety of other world leaders and former world leaders to basically bring down the Illuminati. Once again, lots of views, lots of attention, and people giving money to her PayPal. And then in January, January of 2011, things kicked off again where she started talking shit and even appeared on Russia Today. In fact, she appeared on there twice, talking about various phenomena, including, in January 2011, I think it was, about some bird deaths and fish deaths. But soon she was back to her old tricks, and claimed that her twin flame, the Archangel Michael, was going to come to Earth and bring it all down. That he was going to come, that she was going to ascend, as the Mother Goddess, and they were going to bring about a new Earth. Needless to say, none of this happened. She made numerous of her predictions until around about midway through that year. Then she decided to pull a lot of her videos, and eventually she converted to Christianity. When she converted, it basically meant the majority of her critics, usually Christian fundamentalists, basically backed off, because they don't care about the truth, they don't care about honesty. They don't even care about anything of the kind. They simply care about repentance. If you do bad, talk shit, yes, repent. And if you've got a sob story that drives people towards Christianity, then all the better. Colleen Thomas's story was this. She was interacting with demons, and therefore coming to Christianity as Frida of the demons, and she made a couple of videos talking about that, and how to combat demons. Eventually she left YouTube altogether, but some of the remnants of her work remain on other people's channels, response videos, and the like. Some of the methods she used to basically get attention included nudity. She had nude videos and semi-nude videos, which were premium videos on YouTube you'd have to pay for if you wanted to see. According to some sources, including Colleen at one point, she apparently made thousands of dollars simply from a very simple lie and uploading a video, say, once a week. If a person can do that and fool so many people and then flip-flop and fool a bunch of Christians, then isn't it worth remembering these people and their activity and indeed the general stupidity of the people who support them? A deep-rooted psychology.